A couple of weeks ago, Glitch Productions released their brand new series to add to their collection of shows named The Amazing Digital Circus. If you don't know who Glitch Productions are, they are the creators of Sunset Paradise, Meta Runner, and Murder Drones, all shows that I plan to review at some point in the future. The Amazing Digital Circus, like all internet sensations, is being destroyed by a lot of Twitter users and other critics, who continue to insult the show and trash it whenever they get the chance. But why is this? Something I want to take a look at today is what is happening with this show. Should you yourself take 30 minutes out of your day to watch this show? Should you even care? Or better yet, should you pay $25 for a plushie of Jack's? If you're confused about that last question, then don't worry, because so am I. This is Nightmare Reviews, and without further ado, let's get started. The critique I often see while looking at other reviews is how the horror never really hits. The Amazing Digital Circus, which I will now be referring to as TADC, is supposed to be a psychological horror show about these cartoony computer characters losing their minds and hating their lives. But in this 25 minute pilot, we don't get that. What we get instead are creepy moments that seem to be played off for laughs, the less than horrifying realities that these characters have to go through. One moment in particular is this moment. That's a... We stay right here, where I can keep my hundreds of all-seeing eyes on you. I think the biggest issue with a moment like this is that it could be incredibly creepy and weird, but instead, because of the cut back to the full view, it just feels pretty dumb and stupid. There are lots of moments like this in the show where intense parts can feel more happy-go-lucky than anything, and that has partly to do with the world. Because of the colorful backgrounds and cartoony aesthetics, the creepy moments feel happy and fun. Is this a problem the animators could fix? No, not really. But is it one that puts the show down? Yes. That being said, this show would be horrible if it wasn't animated. This show has so many fun details and references and cool effects that if the show were in live action, it wouldn't be possible. One moment in particular is after Ragatha starts glitching and her hair starts breaking and going all over the place. Her body starts glitching, and heck, even her face starts playing Pong. It's these small details like this that make the show feel so much better. If these moments weren't here, it would all feel very lifeless. This show is a perfect example of how even the tiny details can make such a difference in animation. Take Pomni's eyes as an example. Her eyes tell her emotions perfectly, and now that I think about it, all these characters convey emotions very well. There was not a single time when I couldn't understand what a character was feeling. And it's shocking because some of these characters have such simple designs that they can barely convey emotions to begin with. Tinger is just a chess piece with floating eyes. Jax quite literally can't move his mouth, and yet I could tell what he was feeling more than I could when Crybaby was talking. But that also has to do with how amazing the voice actors are. The casting here is amazing. The casting here is perfect, with Lizzie Freeman as Pomni giving an excellent performance that conveys her character's fear of being truly stuck in this digital world. Michael Kovac as Jax is a great pick. Kovac is a good voice actor, and I hope I get to see the same level of performance when I watch Murder Drones and Lackadaisy. The rest of the voice actors are just okay. I need more from them to get a good view of their skills, like Alex... Uh, I don't know what friends is his name. Ro Rachan? Broken? I'm gonna say Rachan. Alex Rajan does an excellent job as the voice of Kane. His wacky and crazy personality shines through with his performance. It's just, once again, I need more. So now to the big part of the show, the mystery. What about this show is so intriguing that I should wait probably six months for episode two? Well, it's kind of hard to tell. Many theorize that Jax is up to something I think those people are. He's crazy! <laughs> Others theorize that Kane isn't the mastermind behind TADC. 
All we know is that there's more to come and more to learn. If you're going into the show expecting some crazy mystery right off the bat, then please lower your expectations. This show does not set up its overarching mystery very well. Its mystery only plays into the episode two-thirds into the runtime when Pomni goes through the exit door. And even that doesn't have the lasting effect I believe the writers wanted. Like the voice acting, this show just needs more time to get going. I truly believe that the mystery will get going and things will get a lot better as time goes on. Everything has been set up and now it's just time for the writers to figure out where to go from here. One thing the show gets right is the music. The soundtrack of this show is great. It's so crazy, it's so wonderful, and so well made that I have found myself listening to the theme on repeat because of how good it is. This final minute has to be one of my favorite parts of the episode simply because of the song choices. My love of the soundtrack is why I decided to use most of it in this video. I know the music probably won't appeal to many because of how weird and awkward it can sound, but to me it's all very good. Finally, to answer the question I brought up at the beginning of this video, why do people hate this show so much? I think that it has to do with how the show only has a pilot, and there are a lot of things that people wanted and expected that aren't in these 25 minutes. And I understand that. While writing, I realized there were a lot of things that I would have liked answers to or that I felt were left out of this psychological horror show because of its short runtime. I'm 100% certain that we'll be getting more episodes, and I'm at least 85% certain that those episodes will redeem the show in many ways for many people. But for right now, some just can't seem to care. But what do I think? Well, I think you have to give the show a chance. It's a good show in the end, and an amazing one in my opinion. And it's worth giving it a look. It's also not murder drones or hell of a boss with multiple episodes you'll have to sit through. At least, not yet. So, if you have 25 minutes to spare, I suggest looking at The Amazing Digital Circus, which, in my opinion, lives up to its name as truly an amazing show that has only just gotten started. My name is Nightmare, and this was Nightmare Reviews. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in a couple of weeks. Okay, so I finally... Why is this so quiet? Hang on. Okay, so I finally finished re... No. Oh, I finally finished editing this video. It has taken hey, it's taken me quite a while to edit this. This is not a long video. This is like nine minute, eight minutes maybe. Um, it's taking me so long because I've been procrastinating so much. I've been trying not to do that, especially because my next project is going to take me like a month. So if you're all expecting me to actually upload in the next, in the next couple of weeks, don't. <laughs> um, all uploads will probably just be shorts. Um, but yeah, unless I decide to real quick just do some streams or something i'm not gonna be doing too much youtube for a bit while i'm working on this project because it's gonna take a lot of effort um speaking about this project though something that i definitely regret doing was the super monotone voice that has no uh life in it and i'm looking back on that and i'm just confused as to why i did that because it sounds so bad and makes the audio quality really bad sometimes. It's really annoying. I was editing this and I was like, I don't understand what even I'm saying. And I have headphones on at almost max volume half the time. So I'm just, I'm a little bit worried about this. So um, yeah, just subscribe, I guess. Did you guys know that YouTube did this weird thing where now the subscribe button like glows if I ask you to subscribe? It's weird. I don't like it. Like it's cool, I guess, but it's still stupid. Um... Yeah, so see you in like a month, probably. Bye.